All right, today we're going to do a flip through of Paperback Fanatic number 47. Um, this just came out, geez Louise, I don't know. It was published in July 2023. Uh, this is the first one I've, I've ever read, even though it's number 47. Uh, something I've never really mentioned is that I've only recently have gotten into the paperbacks, the vintage paperbacks in the past like four years, I think, uh, which you might've been able to tell by how I'm not that knowledgeable. I can't like do comparisons like this writer sounds like this. And I just, you know, I wanted to do this because I like talking about it. Uh, it creates conversation and I learn things and it's just fun. And I like looking at myself and, you know, I'm really cool. So I wanted to do a, uh, a flip through of this. So we're going to flip the camera and I'll kind of review it, go through it. And go. all right, so we're going to flip through this paperback fanatic. Uh, it's a beautiful cover. This is a, uh, Recreation of Clifford D's uh, Simax um, City. Uh, original cover art by Davis Meltzer. And it is, I believe, it's like redone. Just this part is the original. Oh, yeah. And the cover, yeah, the cover design is Bill Cunningham. So he took the, made the layout and stuff. Very uh, eye appealing. And so what you have here is just a bunch of articles about vintage paperback genre fiction by a bunch of different uh, people who've been collecting it for many, many years. <laughs> so. I want that book. Oh, this is by... Uh, Bob Dice, Robert Dice, uh, who did the Manhunters book that I flipped, did the flip through, the shark book, the Men's Adventure Library Journal. So he has an article in here about Ron Lesser, the artist. Uh, there was the previous issue, but this was the first issue that I, I've ever got. It has actual <laughs> letters. A letter section. <laughs> awesome. So let's see. Candy Girls. Uh, this is put out by Justin Marriott. And he writes a lot of the articles. And he has a bunch of other um, magazines. A bunch of uh, fanzines. About more genre specific. But I, this one is like um, a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, stuff about book selling and book buying. This was the first person that I had heard of from the magazine, Roy Nugent. Um, I had followed him on Instagram uh, before I, just from when I had a personal page. So, yeah, here's his article, and it's about um, Slee's author, like an occult Sleaze series. Uh, George Henry Smith. And this kept happening to me for this magazine is I went to a book fair, uh, the warehouse book sale, and I picked this up. And then the next, like a couple days later, I was flipping through this. I'd had it already. And then that was there. I was like, oh, you know, this is that book that he's talking about. I was like, oh, I just bought that. So it's kind of cool to, to see that happen because I don't, you know, I'm not very knowledgeable at this moment. So to just kind of see that what draws my eye is what they're writing about already. It uh, makes me more excited to get something like this is like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Like everything in here is exactly what interests me. 
So I was very happy to find this magazine. So yeah, here's an article about the Naked City. We got uh, nurses. Pulp Horror. You know, and this is all by uh, different people. All these articles. Um, not exactly 100% sure. Maybe uh, other magazine authors, creators, uh, blog writers. I recognize a couple of the the names. Uh, Nolan series, Max Allen Collins Nolan series. It just tells you a little, you know. Like, look at that. I, it's a great resource. If you like, I have that one. Um, I didn't know how many there were. You know, if he keeps writing the series, if it takes over. But so you know, this is a great resource if you're just getting started or. Even, I feel like, um, you know, they, even if you're very knowledgeable, there's always something more to learn. It's an uh, article about the Conan books after Robert E. Howard. Whether they're worth reading, who did it the best. Uh, long arm. Article about the uh, adult western series Long Arm. Uh, Kung Fu. <laughs> Steve Carroll and the Manly Man's. <laughs> Hold on. Steve Carroll and the Manly Man's Manly Book Cave. <laughs> I mean, they, you know, these dudes have a great sense of humor. I. I mean, look at that. that. No one's taking that shit seriously. It's just fun. It's just fun stuff. This this is the article that I think I was most excited about because I want to read these Ninja Masters. I have... Uh, man, I don't remember. It's one of the later, the later Ninja Masters. So, yeah. So, this is what I was most interested in is... It has all these Ninja Master, the whole series in order by year, because it's kind of a confusing uh, title because it changes three times. Article about uh, Terry Southern wrote the um, books, movies, Doctor Strange Love, great movie. And that book too, the novelization. Yeah, I have that. Carousel of Crap. Uh, I talked about this article in my review of Tower of Despair. Funny, funny stuff. Uh, right here has the checklist of all the carousel releases. I mean, just look at how many books just this publisher had. That just shows you how in-depth this uh, collecting these books is. Uh, fantasy and sci-fi. So yeah, there's a, a little bit of every genre. Books about books related to stones and the occult. Like, that's how specific it gets. It's getting hard to flip these things. You know, with these beautiful, you know, scans of the cover art. All books having to deal with uh, stones. <laughs> this is another. Uh, this is another one that I picked up one of one of her books, and then, you know, I had the magazine for a minute. It kind of takes me a, a while to read uh, nonfiction. You know, I like. There's just so many books to read that. 
I, I usually I'll just like it sits next to the bed and then I finish a book and it's not time to go to sleep so I read an article or two so there's another one that I had bought the book and then I came home and I was like oh look there's an article about this author it just kind of shows shows you you're on the right path and then uh, yeah Clifford yeah the Clifford Simak article Justin Marriott by Justin Marriott again all the different covers of City there's the one they used for the cover of this issue I have that one bought that a long time ago still haven't got to it so many books to read so little time Spillane. It's an article about how he somehow never had read a Mickey Spillane, though he read all of the people that were influenced by him. So he sat down and read, I think, eight. One, two, three. Four, eight of them, four of them. Oh, he read four. Yeah, so he sat down and read four of them. And here's what he thought about them. And that's it. Um. I think where did I buy this I think this one you have to buy on Amazon it's not anywhere else so I'll put that link in the description and I don't know how often these come out but if this came out in July of this year then I think a new one should be soon And you know, you can buy the old issues too, the back issues. So there you go. Paperback Fanatic number 47.